Somebody say, who brought this man to this church? Don't worry, I will not be here tomorrow. I'm here this morning. The Bible says you shall know the truth. The truth will do what? Set you free. Truth is bitter. Two. When we are talking about debt, debt of promise. We are building the house of God now. We have just located this place. You are made a vow for your let's go and vision. Let's go and vision has come and gone. And you never pay. You are a debtor. The let's go and vision has gone. Doesn't mean that the program has completed. Till Jesus Christ come, there will be always be a project in the house of God. Pay your debts. Because God hates those that make a vow and they don't pay. Am I communicating? Yes, you may say well, categories of vow. Maybe to God. Maybe to God. So it is a fool that procrastinates payment of vow. You can put down numbers 30 verse 2. That you vow unto the Lord. You must pay. And Exodus 5, 4 to 6. Procrastination is not good for vow. Be careful. All the youth in the house shout a thunderous hallelujah. hallelujah. I thank God for your life. That the word I want to share with you now, some people that are married did not have the opportunity to hear it. Any man that you cannot respect and honor, don't marry him. Any man that you cannot humble yourself before him. Don't do what? Don't marry. Because your submission determines the progress of your husband. When you treat your man as a king, God will give him the miracle of kingship. Then you will enjoy the palace as a queen. But when you treat the man as a slave, the miracle of slavery will be locating the man. There's no shortcut. This is the bitter truth. Hello? That is why the Bible says, submit yourself. Two drivers cannot drive a car successfully. They will enter into the dish. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor, it is time for our head to be correct. Too. What is submission? Ability to surrender your ideas, your goal, your vision to someone else to execute on your behalf or take permission before you act. I repeat, what is submission? By simple definition that the Holy Spirit gave to me when I was very young in faith is that submission is ability to surrender your goal, your vision, your idea to somebody either to execute on your behalf or take permission before you act. Anything short of that one is rebellion. And that is why you as a man, you must learn to love. Hello? If you are a man in the house and you love your wife, wave your hands and shout hallelujah. Mm -hmm. What is love? I know some men will throw stone this morning when they hear the definition of love. But the blood of Jesus will arrest every stone. Because somebody has confirmed me this morning. Say there is power in the blood of. What is love? Ability to sacrifice yourself on behalf of somebody that doesn't appreciate you. I repeat. Love is ability to sacrifice yourself on behalf of someone that doesn't appreciate you. The Bible says when we are yet sinner, Christ died for us. So if you are a man, you are occupying the body of Christ and your family. If there is no sufficient food, you are to fast. Let them eat the rest. Hello? Ability to sacrifice yourself. Be committed to the family sources. Be committed to the improvements of they say your wife is a fool and you also you agree. You are a fool. You are a husband of a fool. And you also you are a fool. 
Because when they say feather, do what? Flocks together. I told you, you didn't hear me. You see now, my cousin has just come. He has confirmed the same thing that my mother confirmed that time. He's telling you who you are. Jesus Christ, he protected the image of the church. He paid the price. Are you ready to defend your wife to let her? Or you are disgracing her to your family, to your relations, to your uncle, to your cousin? Shame on you as a man. I know you are not doing like that in this church. Ah, you are sanctified. Ah, Holy Ghost. Join your hand together for Jesus Christ. Thirdly, depth of time. Exodus 3, 1 to 8. You must know how to manage time. You want to go and visit somebody in the office. Manage his time. Don't waste his time. Some people will say, Pastor, I want to see you. 30 people is sitting down to want to see the pastor. And you also want to be there for the next one hour. You are a debtor. Arrange your point within five minutes. Maximum 10 minutes. So that the pastor can respond to your request within five minutes. So that others can come in. Hello. Don't tell stories. Go straight to the point. Some people, this is where they are going. They first of all go like this. Round, 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 round. And this is where they are going. Open your eyes. Death of time is a dangerous thing. The, the Bible says there is time for everything on half. Learn. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. Learn how to manage time. You should believe that. Don't jam your hand together for Jesus Christ. Death of not preaching the gospel. If you are not preaching the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, you are a debtor. 1 Corinthians 9, 16 to 17. 1 Corinthians 9, 16 to 17. You are not preaching the gospel, you are a debtor. Because Jesus Christ is a honest man. Jesus' party is the best party I have ever seen. Have a good constitution for his party. From the day one, he has told you what is going to achieve in you. The reason why he called you. I will make you fishers of men. Fishers of men. Fishers of men. I will make you fishers of men if you follow me. Now you are in church for more than one year. You are not yet a worker. You are a debtor. You are not growing. You are not what? Ah, God they never called me to be a minister. I'm not a minister. No, 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 no. Jesus Christ said, You are my ambassador. You are already ordained from the foundations of the earth. The moment you are resisting it, you are resisting God's purpose for your destiny. The moment Jesus Christ saved your soul, you must package yourself. Because it's one thing for God to call you, it's another thing to make yourself qualify for the call. It is one thing for a parent to pay your school fees. It's another thing for you to bring good results. Bringing good results is your, is your part to play. Your parents will not come and help you to study. Be yourself. Be yourself. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. It is time to pay the price of your calling don't waste your time in this church don't make yourself a nuisance of a bench woman it should be lead out and jam your hand together for Jesus Christ <laughs> point number five debt of gratitude oh sorry yes did I give you quotation for the debt of not preaching the gospel first Corinthians 9 16 to 17 okay point number five debt of gratitude Luke 17 verse 11 to 15 Luke 17, verse 11 to 15. Debt of gratitude. Somebody has done good for you. You don't know how to say thank you. Ingrid, your husband has given you money to manage the family. No, be your responsibility. Is it, what are you doing that your mate has now done bad? Sadhana? Everybody needs encouragement. 
Hello? Everybody need what? And, ah, my dear. You gave this one to Roger Sam. God will bless you. My head, my honor, my this, my that. I am telling you because you have honored him. God will make life comfortable for him that when miracle comes, you will be number one to be decorated. But when you always fight him, make life uncomfortable for him, when he has walked down outside there, people trouble his life. He came home also. You do the same thing. No honor outside, no honor inside. You are sending him away. May you not be the enemy of your own destiny. I know some women will not like that. But that is the truth. The Bible says you shall know the truth. The two way set you free. This is what binds the church together. And this is what makes us to be joined here with the Father. One. Transparency. In thought, in speech, in action. That is what God has given to you and I. Don't be a debtor. Your, your pastor has preached to you and you are blessed. You cannot say, ah, daddy, thank you for blessing my soul today. You are a debtor. You think it's an easy thing to be a pastor? And I don't even know what's wrong with this pastor. Self. I know even say, you know, you know, they visit somebody. Do you know his house? Hello? Your pastor. Some pastor didn't sleep the day break when it's Sunday. To deliver this sermon, do you think it's an easy thing? The more pastor is fighting for you, he's fighting for himself too. Because every sermon a pastor preach, attack is coming. But victory is sure. That is those that preach with revelations, not those that entertain congregation. Mark that word. Not those that entertain congregation. Those that preach the truth. It's a warfare. Our spiritual life is a warfare. It's no room for civilians. So you must be yourself. You must know what you are doing. Why am I really coming to this church? Is this to make an impact? Is it to be among the number? May the Lord help you and I. Amen. Some people cannot even say amen. amen. Somebody say, which one is this man doing now? I thought he's going to say receive the key. Don't worry, you will receive the key. I say you will receive the key. When you obey the word of God, key will come without stress. Because God compensates those that are faithful. Those that are committed. When my children were very young, I told them one day, I said we are walking to the church today. We are trekking to the church. They said, Daddy, why? Very curious children. Because those days, when I want to give offering, they say, Daddy, where is your offering? If you are giving 1,000, you must give me 500. Your God is big. My God is also big. Because, thank God for children teachers. They have taught them that the, God is big. You must not teach your God like a... But now when they start working, they now know the difference between... <laughs> oh, God, jab your hand together for Jesus Christ. But there is no way I can teach them that time than to cooperate and comply because of the levels of their ideology and understanding. Am I communicating? So I told them we are taking Okada. No, we are trekking. No money for Okada. I didn't say so. I said, we, we. they say why? Because we are here to take feasibility studies of our environment. And because they are, they are young, the way I stretch the world, they turn into music. Hey, that is a feasibility study. Feasibility study. Did you of them were seeing chorus in it? I shook my head. They don't know that Mr. Poverty is the one talking to their father. Every demons of poverty is in your family. Earthquake will swallow them in the name of Jesus. It's not up to two hours. Somebody came and was rolling in the floor in front before me. And said that they want to insult me. He insult me and go away. I'm preparing for evening program. He said, unless you pray for me. Almost 30 minutes. Elderly person. Okay. God forgive your son in advance because he want to insult me. In Jesus name we pray. He said, amen. Okay. Oh yeah, get up. Because that's the way you know how to talk. Anyway, I have learned from one musician. Sombi, oh sombi. Sombi, oh sombi. So I follow him. We went out. He said, no, we are going outside the compound. And I follow him. The man really insulted me. I pray for that more assault in Jesus' name. When Mercedes Benz, 2.30 was still Mercedes Benz. 
That is what he brought for me to insult me and said, uh, you are more than this, daddy. You are more than this. Please, can you forgive me for insulting you? I said, you are forgiven in Jesus' name. The man that said we are taking feasibility study came back and became a prophet and said, children, today we are driving to the church. Everything that is casting reproach upon you, limiting you where you're supposed to have confidence to speak, today they are terminated in the name of Jesus. I said they are terminated in the name of Jesus. Wisdom belongs to others. That is why you as a man, you must ask for wisdom. Not every truth. You explain the way it is to your wife. They need wisdom. Your children need wisdom. If I tell them on that, they say, there's no money. Hey, we, we, can you say there's no money? No, 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 we are not going to. Ah, no, apply wisdom. Wisdom is the principal thing. So I told the children, feasibility studies. Because I've learned one thing. Anything that is not good, get big grammar. Am I telling lie? Instead for them to say there is no money in the land, they say incension. Incension. Every bad thing, they have big drama. One day I enter restaurants. Those days, Mama put, he said, Is it fine face one? Uh, fine face. I pick my leg. He said, Well, you are. Uh, sit down now. What you, you know, it, uh, I don't eat human being, no. He said, Are you not a negotiator? I said, I'm not a negotiator. I may be stranger here. He said, if a man they call you fine face. I said, I don't know. You didn't educate me when I enter Lagos. Hallelujah. Everything that is limiting your glory, where you're supposed to shine, and they are looking for substitute. Today they are wiped off in the name of Jesus. I said they are wiped off in the name of Jesus. They are wiped off in the name of Jesus. Love one another. Pay your debts. Don't somebody can be a debtor of vow to your wife or vow to your husband. Hello. There's family challenge. And money is money is inside your bag. As a wife, you say, ah, to say that no cobble in my hands. No cobble. You are a debtor to your husband. Because whatever you have, whatever you own, the day you are joined together, and they say, let no man put asunder, you have become one. But demon doesn't want you to become one. Because it's not that the day you understand the revelation of becoming one is in trouble. Because your prayer will be accelerated. The Bible says one which is a thousand. Two which is Ten thousand, but he will tell you no. How can it be possible if one shares one thousand, two of you will shares two thousand? That is why you always causing little little problem here and there, misunderstanding, so that there will be no family breakthrough. But from today, as the Lord open your eyes to this revelation, may the Lord give you the grace to comply with the principles of revelations in the name of Jesus. God knew when you say my husband is my head and it's not really your head. Hello? If you love your husband, wave your hands and shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Some people are afraid to raise up there. <laughs> when you say I love my husband, you are my head. You are my pillar. You are my captain. In the name of testing the soup in the kitchen, all the better meat, big meat disappear. In the name of testing, I didn't say you are doing like that too. You are sanctified. Jam your hand together for Jesus Christ. Ah, you are sanctified women. They, they don't do that. A woman that are sanctified, they don't do that. It's only carnal minded woman that normally do that. But all of you here, you are all sanctified. Jam your hand together for Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hallelujah. God knew that it's only by mouth you are talking. You now bring the bones to the table. Say, that is a pity. You didn't follow me to the market. Ah, things are very expensive. Expensive what? When you are already saving out of the money budget for food, for head year. You think you can hide it from God? You can't never hide it from God. You can't never hide it from God. 
You may cover your sin that no one man to know. You can never hide it from. Don't mind my voice. Because the day I want to join the choir, all the choir were on strike. <laughs> Hallelujah. So don't mind me that I can't sing note like you. Because when I get born, born again and I want to join the choir, they say you can't join. You are not yet born again. So they waited for over one year. Now you can join the choir. I say, I'm sorry. Next week, I'm changing location from this state to another state. It's not pride. And that opportunity has not been given to me again. And some of you now, you have privilege to surrender your talent to God, to be effective. You are wasting your time. I pray that demon that is making you to waste your time, may the fire of God consume them. In the name of Jesus. I never get such opportunity again. I bought redemption here now. I carry it, carry it several occasions. I lie. They didn't give me the opportunity. By the time I landed in Lagos, I landed in CAC Mission House. You can't live in a mission house and be going to another church. Mba. So I was in their midst. And as I was in their midst, I saw the way there is a gap for me to serve God. And I was doing it like as if I'm a redeemed Christian church of God. Nobody to take care of the children. So I was taking care of the children department. I established the children department separately. As workers meeting, after workers meeting, one hour follow up, I will go and follow up the children, bath them in their home, wake some people up. Within a short time, the pastor said, you are just a youth. You are, you are not a youth. You are an elder. So I became elder of the church, as small as I was. <laughs> but after one year, I told them, sorry, uh, by principle, and by covenant of my being born again, I can't be an elder here again. They say, what? I said, I'm going back to my church. They said, what's the problem? I said, there are some of the things you believe which is not relevant to what I carry. So you want to go to where they are doing brother, sister. Ah, I said, that's the name I like. Brother, sister. That's the way you pronounce it. Where they are saying brother, sister. That is where they are saying brothers and sister. So he now ridiculed the name. I said, that is the name I love most. But that time I have already rent my own house. Within one year, God have made room for me. I rented my own apartment. As the Lord liveth, all of you that are having accommodation problem, in this particular month, God will make room for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Because there are some people that are suffering in silence because of accommodation. When you have accommodation problem, you lose your confidence. And you lose your focus. You lose your identity. You can't walk with freedom, with confidence. But as the Lord leave it today, this very month, the Lord will enlarge your course. Yes. And there are some of you, God will give you land level party too. Yes. You may not believe that one. But it's going to happen. I said it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's a covenant keeping God. Learn to appreciate those people that help you. There are some of you, the day they know you in, your, in the school of your, parents, your children is when there is trouble. Since all the days that your children is going to school and they pass, they never know you. Is that that you now come? Who, who beat my child? Who beat my child? Trouble, troublemaker. They now know you as a troublemaker parents. All those demons, the Lord will consume them. When they are teaching your child and he's doing fine, do you want go one day and say, teacher, congratulations, God bless you. I really appreciate what you are doing in the life of my son. Please take this one to buy a shard card. Anyone that wants to obtain favor must show favor into the life of others. But you never do that. It's only the time somebody beats your child or tears his clothes. You, they will now know you. Troubleshooter has finally come. At the moment you enter the gate, this gate man has even know you. Mama only wa ala atitunde. Baba ala ye. That will not be your portion and your identity. I thought your amen will be louder than that one. Somebody say, who brought this man now? Don't worry, Jew brought me for today. I will not be here tomorrow. <laughs> Are you sure you still love me? <laughs> you still love me? Jam your hand together for Jesus Christ. So it means that you, you want to go higher and you will surely go higher. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. As a child of God, 21, our garment is garment of holiness. As a child of God. Revelation 19, verse 7 to 8. Any born again child of God, I say Revelation 19, verse 7 to 8. Am I too fast? Have you gotten the quotation now? Somebody say, I never get it. I say Revelation 19, verse 7 to 8. Have you gotten it now? Because I have discovered that in life, you don't rush. Even though when I was young in faith, I, I, I don't know how to speak like this. But thank God for good wife. My model by that time was Shambak. How many of you have listened to Shambak before? That is where I used to speak those days. But when I got married, because I was a full-timer before I became married. When I got married, thank God for good wife. We had a we programs after the program that Sunday was power pack and my wife said ah thank God for your life today God really move ah you are a wonderful man of God only that you did not communicate hello all the adjectives you gave to me <laughs> I said what do you mean I don't understand because I'm a I'm a student when somebody is correcting you, turn yourself to be a student. If you want to go far, don't argue. Anyone that resists instruction cannot go far. The reason why there is argument is because one of the parties is resisting instruction. Hello? I said, I don't know. He said, when you are giving all the first point as we are trying to write it down, you are already in third point. So all of us, we are just looking at you. We didn't write anything down. So it was that time I corrected my error, my error. And I was able to know I am not from Shambak country. I'm from Nigeria. Not even Nigeria, in a cocoa farm. And in cocoa farm, you don't speak plenty grammar. Once, one bag, 5,000. Uh, half bag, 2,500. It's very simple, straightforward to the point. No plenty grammar. That's why we don't get trashy. People like you get big, big grammars. Clap for your clap to God for your life. So since that day, I came down to my level. Calm down. You are a Nigerian. You are not a shambak. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor, learn to be yourself. So if you are not yourself, you are missing it. There is nobody like you. You are important the way God has created you. You are special and you are unique. And once the hand of God is upon you, you will surely function. And I decree into the life of somebody that this particular month, this month of May, the hands of God will be raised upon your life and will single you out of multitude. In the name of Jesus Christ. Holiness is our garment. Holiness is our garment. Righteousness. Purity. There is difference between attack and carnality. It's my prayer that none of us will be under attack from the pit of hell. In the name of Jesus Christ. But be careful. When you see somebody that fall, ask, what is the details of that person? So that you not be walking here. Is the hand of God inside it? Or not? Ah, daddy, which one are you talking about? Is that not heresy? How can the hand of God be on error? God told Ozia, go to the brother, go and marry. Because these people, they don't get my message. The only way they can get my message, they love reduce. So, marry, go back, remarry go back remarry tell them that i love them whatever be their weakness i will restore them i pray for you today the power of restoration we enter into your life in the name of jesus christ david was happy that victory has come to the camp and was making up his mind go and count the people 
Joab said, no. My Lord, why should you count the people? You don't need to be proud of uh, the people. Are, you, are they not your people? But the Bible made us understand without knowing that devil pitched tent against David. At times when your husband is misbehaving, do you bother to pray through to know whether it's devil that pitched tent against your husband? When your wife begins to misbehave, do you know whether devil are pitched tent against her to cause commotion that is not flowing with you in the same frequency? That you need to humble yourself that particular period? It's not the hour to see yourself. Don't you know I'm a head? It's an hour to walk like a slave, houseboy. Oh, my dear. Oh, <laughs> the queen. Come on. There is no one like you. you. When you begin to praise a foolish person within a short time, we soon discover that I am not what they are calling me. Hello? When you want to deliver a foolish person, you praise him or her. Keep on praising him. Within a short time, we soon realize all these things they are giving to me. Am I qualified? One day his eyes will be open. I pray for every one of us, including the speaker. Devil doesn't respect anybody. Every pitch of time from the pitch of hell over you and I to disconnect us from heaven. May the fire of God consume them. In the name of Jesus Christ, we shall live a fulfilled life. But above all, maybe I should stop here because somebody say, ah, ah, who is this pastor? Now he should leave us alone. You have consumed our time. We want to dance and go home. I want to eat. Eh? Despite the way I'm talking now, the mind of some people want to eat. Could you imagine? He's not here. He's already feeling eating. Are you saying I'm telling lie? Ah, thank God for faithful children. Because I had it. I had it. And I've been saying it more than three times. Say, ah, when is this man now? Lead us into prayer. Let me go. Don't sit up prayer now. Ah. Don't sit up prayer. Don't worry. I'm leading you into prayer now. Because I obey the Holy Spirit. Have you seen me? Because when I have discovered one thing, if there is disconnection between the preacher and the congregation, they can't flow together. Am I communicating? So you will rise on your faith. All what we have had is not by power, is not by mind, by my spirit, is it's not by power, is not by mind, by my spirit, is Your mind go and say, Father, by your spirit, every mountain of weaknesses in my life, every mountain of wickedness in my life, Father, destroy them today, destroy them today, destroy them today, destroy them today, Lord, destroy them today, destroy them today, Lord, destroy them today, Lord, Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name, O Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Give me grace to follow. Abundant grace to follow. I need your grace to follow. Your grace is enough for me. Give me grace. Abundant grace to follow. I need your grace to follow. Your grace is enough for me. You have learned one thing or the other this morning. You can't do it alone. You can't. You need the grace of God. 
there are some demons who one moment somebody hear the truth and you are excited you want to carry it out they are waiting for you to get out of the world the arena of anointing and they want to remove it from you but the grace of god will destroy them you are going to talk to the woman and say father all your word that i've had this morning give me the grace to adjust to put them into practice in the name of jesus christ pray in the name of jesus christ in Jesus name we pray please set your two hands to heaven father with all humility Lord both the speaker and the hearer nobody is above temptations any temptations in the way of individual grant of victory in the name of jesus christ all areas of our life that we need to adjust give us the ability the power the enablement to willingly to adjust in the name of jesus christ all these your children that are saying amen daddy in a double dimension lay your hands upon them for good for open door new connections breakthrough success in the name of jesus thank you father blessed be your name O lord in jesus precious name we pray can we quickly stretch our hands towards daddy god has used him to bless us let's ask that god's grace will be multiplied in his life you will continue to be a vessel of honor in the hands of God, sanctified, prepared, and made for his use, that he will finish well and strong. Lord, we thank you for your servants. Amen. Amen. Thank you for using him. Amen. Amen. Thank you for strengthening and upholding him thus far. Amen. Amen. Lord, we return all the glory to you. Amen. Amen. Father, it's our prayer for him that you continue to water Amen. him. Amen. Even as he has watered us today, Amen. Amen. he will finish well and strong. Amen. In your kingdom it will not be found wanting Amen. Amen. lord after Amen. going around Amen. parishes Amen. zones Amen. areas Amen. provinces Amen. Amen. lord to Amen. teach bible Amen. doctrine Amen. in the redeemed christian church of god Amen. you will give him the grace Amen. to put himself in subjection Amen. he will not be a castaway Amen. thank you because you perfect all that concerns him and the family Amen. lord we bless and we adore you Amen. the words we have had today will not stand against us on the day of judgment blessed be your holy name Amen. Amen. in jesus name we are praying Amen. can we put our hands together and appreciate daddy daddy we are grateful god bless you for blessing us once again may god continue to bless you